from today onwards we are going to discuss a php and mysql project using bootstrapping so it's a it's just an online shopping application and i have downloaded a simple template bootstrapping template from the internet and i am extracting this so after extracting this i got uh, uh, css files and uh, fonts and js and these are the contains bootstrapping application related files and this is the index.php file and just look at the execute this file and look at me look at this and how it look like so here these are my horizontal menus and this is my company name and this is my here also company name and these are the categories we what we have here and this is our company right and these are the products we will display here and i need to come convert this template depending on in the, depends on our requirement so i am just copying this I'm just copying this and pasting inside my project and I don't want all these things I'm just deleting this and I'm removing from my project and I'm pasting before river before our HD docs go to our project here we have some CSS files and fonts and JS and just assume this is the template given by the designer to developer and we want to convert this template into uh, depending on our requirement so here first go to go and edit the template depending on our requirement so i think i have already opened that so in browser and in browser and in notepad plus plus so go to open this so here uh, first these are the menus and this is my stop bootstrapping application so here i am just giving so simple shopping cart and these are the menus and i will add the menus so for now uh, i am adding only four menus so it's home so home in the sense it's not hash it's home.php it's about.php now it's contact.php then here i have given register.php and the last one and i am adding a one more one so here it is login here it is login so now i have totally five menus now just execute this template execute this one so what we have here it's my name is simple shopping cart application name is simple shopping cart and what we have here it's home.php about that about php contact us php it's register.php and it's login.php and this is my shop name and I will change this shop name into into uh, suppose online store now refresh this one so our suppose we have given a simple name and here this copyright belongs to okay it's okay fine Anjali Prasad and these are the categories and I will add these categories depends on our requirement right so for now this is the template given by the user and in this case i don't want these menus these products right because we are in the home page so at the time go to uh, go to your main menus so i think uh, here these are the values it's fourth product and
so here it's ended here so first i am removing the products from here so here and execute this one so i have removed two products and after that i don't want this one also and uh, this one also so now i have totally two products so i have removed all this one also and i don't have anything i just have a simple row remove this space and execute this one right so look at this and here our uh, body div is empty and we have only four trees copyright belongs to anjani prasad and these are my horizontal menus and this is my vertical menus and here i have written some dummy content here so it's welcome to home page so i got the message here so now so this is the template given by the user that means this this is the div belongs to center of my web page so so let me check so the container is ended here and these are the vertical these are the vertical menus and this is our uh these are belongs to this images right now this is the template given by the user and i want to convert this template into depending into our php requirement so i cannot use the same template in my all projects because if i want to change anything in my project so i need to change in all pages so when we are using the php we will never include the html code directly so simply we will just split this file into two parts split just split into two parts and i have saved the first part into header.php so the first part is ended with opening a div and the next one so second part contains footer dot php right so now second part contains second part starts with a closing a div so header is ended with opening a div and footer is ended with closing a div so i have opened one more and uh, by using the php functions i have included these two into a one page so you can use include underscore ones are include but i am prefer to use include underscore ones because include underscore ones will check file is already included once file is already included it will skip re including so it will include any file only once so here the file name is its footer dot php so now i included and i save the file with home dot php and i have given a content called here the simple message called echo welcome to home page now execute this one so here i am going to our php project so localhost 
and I have given a simple name called project and then execute this one. So here without executing, without giving any name, so default automatically index.php will execute or even if index not available, index not uh, index.php is not available, default will execute and then home.php is available execute but here index is not available default is not available so we have only home.php that's why it is executing automatically and i am creating two more pages like this not two more and uh, five pages so here welcome to about page then i have opened one more It's contact.php and I changed this into contact page. Then I have saved the file with register.php and it's just a simple one register page. And then the last one is login.php. now execute this one refresh this one when i click on the about us page i got welcome to about us message and i click on the contact us i got the welcome to contact us register and login so when i click on anything i am redirecting to that page without changing anything just i have included header.php and footer.php if i want to change anything anything related to the html i just change in either header or footer so automatically it will be affected to all my web pages so today so we are now just we have implemented only five pages after that we will implement the categories and display the products and doing do your work but you need to do just you need to do only one thing called include your header and footer in your web page so now next session we are going to discuss a registration page within this project so thank you